In this video, I want to talk about what is a unitary matrix and also how would you prove that a matrix is unitary. So let's look at the fundamental rule, the defining factor that tells you that a matrix is unitary. This is fundamentally the definition, which is that the conjugate transpose of the matrix is equal to the inverse. On the left-hand side, we've got the conjugate transpose. On the right-hand side, we have the inverse. The conjugate transpose is also called the Hermitian, which is why we have that letter H there. So if you can prove that this is true, you would have shown that a matrix is unitary. However, there's a simpler way of doing it, and I'll show you how you can do that. So let's look at how you prove that a matrix is unitary. So you can start by using the fundamental definition that I just mentioned. Then if we were to multiply both sides by matrix U, we would get this expression here. And you'll see on the right-hand side, there's clearly a cancellation. You've got an inverse multiplied by the original matrix. And that's always going to give you the identity matrix. So what you can say is that if you find the conjugate transpose of the matrix, multiply it by your original matrix, in this case, matrix U that we're saying is unitary. And if you indeed have a unitary matrix, you can show that those two matrices multiplied together give the identity matrix. And that is how you prove that a matrix is unitary. So let's look at an example of how you can do this with an actual matrix. So obviously, because it's a unitary matrix, it's going to be a complex matrix. So we want to show that matrix U is unitary. So this is going to be our matrix. And if you look at that, you can immediately see that there's a half appearing everywhere. So we're going to use a slight trick and just say that it's going to be equal to this. We're taking a half out. You have to be careful when you do that, but in this case, it'll work out fine. So let's look at how you actually prove that this matrix is unitary. So the first step is to find your conjugate transpose. And when you break down that word, it's quite clear what you need to do. You need to find the transpose and you need to find the conjugate. So if you do those two steps, you'll get the conjugate transpose. So here we have the original matrix. We want to find the transpose. So I'm going to do this in two steps. So first we do the transpose. So simply this row is going to become a column and this row is going to become a column like so. So row becomes column, row becomes column. And of course, this is a symmetric matrix. So it's perhaps unsurprising that the matrix hasn't in fact really changed. The next step is to find the conjugate. And to do that, we just switch the sign on our imaginary part. So this is minus is going to become plus. This plus is going to become minus. This plus is going to become minus. This minus is going to become plus. And so we just go through each one and individually change each of the signs. And we now have the Hermitian, or in other words, the conjugate transpose. So we just found the conjugate, found the transpose, and it works, and we have that. The next step is to show that those two matrices multiplied together are in fact the identity matrix. So we've got our Hermitian matrix. So we've also got our original matrix. So we just need to multiply those two together. So you're doing standard matrix multiplication. So you go through all the, the steps for matrix multiplication, you know, this multiplied by these, and that will give you the element four. Then you do this multiplied by this, this multiplied by this, this multiplied by this, and so on. And you end up with this expression here, simple matrix multiplication. Of course, this quarter can come back in. And when the quarter is multiplied by everything, you've got one, one. So you've got um, the leading diagonal with ones and the off diagonal are zero. That is, by definition, your identity matrix. And so you've shown that your conjugate transpose multiplied by your original matrix is the identity. And therefore, you have a, a unitary matrix. I hope this video was helpful to you and you now know what a unitary matrix is and how to show that a matrix is unitary. If this did help you out, please subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.